Hello friends, welcome back. Now let's say, let's talk about uh, this class, uh, WP uh, Object Asset class, and uh, this plugin uh, installed uh, the Object Asset dot PHP. It's a drop-in. So drop-in is like to override some of the core functionality of the WordPress. Okay, and that we can do by adding the uh, files into the uh, uh into the wp content directory and there are multiple drop-ins are there okay so um for one of them is the object asset.php file name should be same okay so let's see how it's uh how it uh, load this file instead of so if this uh object asset.php file drop-in is there or uh, exists into the wp content directory then that file will be loaded instead of uh the wordpress core wp class object asset okay so let me just uh search with object asset.php file here object asset.php okay and uh, yeah so here these are the drop-ins there are multiple drop the drop the uh sorry drop-ins advanced case a db.php db and install.php all are all of these are drop-ins okay so you can go through the wp admin includes plugin.php and you can see the list of the drop-ins here okay so now we want to check yeah in the not here actually it's just file exist where it includes the files um uh, okay let me just go through copy this file instead and we will have a similar file exist um not in a class plugin yeah load.php file so wp includes load.php file and here it will uh, make sure if the function is not exist then uh, and the file exists then it will load that okay wp using uh or external object sm okay so here wp start object sa function have been called so let me just see where this function have been called uh, okay so in the wp settings.php file here like this file will be loaded uh, when the wordpress request uh, started so here start object essay or an uh, external object as if the drop in is present so go to that function and it it will simply just see whether enable loading object as a drop in if it's true by default it's true but if you want to disable then a uh, drop in then you can just simply uh, pass false and it's a first and it's a first time it's calling okay so if first in it then and it will check whether this wp cache in it function exists or not okay and if it's not exist um then it will simply check whether the drop in object cache.php file exists in wp content directory if it exists then it will simply add the required required that file and if function is exist wp cache in it then it will set this uh, wp using external object cache to true so this function will simply set the global variable and it will tell that okay whether the external object as a installed or not okay so um okay so now here once he's there else if it's not then file exists and it says true okay um and if it's not then it will simply include the wp if it's not using external object as a plugin then it will simply the uh, cassette.php file it will include okay and uh yeah um, that's this this is the initialization of the uh, uh, wp or uh, object as a drop in okay and uh, it called the wp case in it to matter to initialize object asset so if you go through the let me just close some of the file okay we have seen this so go to the object asset.php file let me just open the outline so we have better visibility uh yeah okay so in the outline we have these functions okay already um in the object asset.php file okay so these are the functions override okay and it's the same copy and now this cassette.php file these functions this file won't be loaded wp includes cassette.php because whatever the ex uh, whatever the plugins who install or manage this like installing the object essay um then the that plugin should have to uh, initialize this function as well wp cache get and everything okay so uh, so these functions have been uh, override by the our plugin what the redis object essay plugin we have installed that 
and apart from that it also uh, installed a cache class yeah wp object cache class right and now this class will have all the implementation which will connect with the radius object cache okay to save and get the uh, cache data okay so i'm not going through how they implemented it will be a very uh, like lengthy and will time taking uh, but there are some of the like whatever the whatever the plugin you are using uh to for the object essay like for the mam case there is another plugin for redis object essay we are using the object redis object essay plugin right so they that those plugins will use the php extension or the php library to interact with that object essay like mam case or the redis okay um so like once you install it uh, in your local then you can use so there are multiple if it's hhvm php redis then using this connect like use the php redis accession to connect with the redis if it's a p redis library then use the p redis or any any other thing okay so there are multiple uh, uh ways to install or to connect with the redis server through using the php or through the php okay and simply if we go to the let's say just very, very simple example wp cache add uh, this function wp cache add function use called the add method of the wp uh, object cache class okay so in the same file sorry in the same file if we add here so now you can see add or replace it call internally add or replace and if you go here now it will check uh, whether wp suspend cache addition so we can also disable the add, cache adding uh, by calling this function so let's say if we are you know like installing anything or migrating or importing the data at that time we we, we uh, using the wordpress functions to store the data into the database right and if you use the wordpress function it will also um, save the data or probably um, using the wp cache functions to set the dates to save the cache, uh, data into the cache uh, object cache right so in that case the importing of the content will take time or it become a time consuming so in that case we can um, call similar functions wp suspend cache addition or invalidation kind of function so this is the function wp suspend cache invalidation function to suspend the cache invalidation and you can again enable it again okay by calling this function uh, and using the uh, either true or false okay so you can disable that as well and this object as a drop in are uh, using that as well okay so just to make sure that uh, uh, we are supporting this plugin supporting the uh, suspend the uh, suspend of the cache object cache right then it will yield the key and few other things and then finally it will make a uh, uh, the, it will make a call to the set method of this php ca uh, sorry not php cs uh, php redis uh, extension function or the p redis function okay uh, to set uh, to set the, and then those ex extensions will uh, have some another implementation to connect uh, to connect with the redis server okay and by default redis server have their own ip local host and then 63679 i think the uh, address which can be used to connect okay so let me just go through 6379 yeah so these are the default parameters so i have installed the redis server in my local system so it's uh, one local host ip right and on this port 6379 this is the default port where the redis server has been started okay and using this information uh, it will connect with the redis server to to get and set the or cache data okay i know this is little bit uh, uh, tricky or maybe it's not more understandable about how this uh, drop in works but if you like after installing it uh, if you go through the file then you will have more understanding and better visibility how it has been done but in 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 sort in summary is that uh, by default wordpress uh, have object essay but it's non persistent data only available through partic on that particular request not on the another request okay uh, and to install uh, to override that uh, the whatever the plugin we are using um, we can like we can we can we have to add this object asset dot php drop in into the wp content directory to override uh, the default wp object cache and the cache functions okay and then implement uh, the object cache uh, in our own okay so and yeah so that's all about object cache i believe i think i'm not missing anything but but you can try in your local system okay how uh, this object cache works and everything okay
so maybe you can try the radius uh, object case if you are comfortable with the mem case that that you can also use so if you go here uh, the documentation you can get the persistent case plugins from here but for that um, mem cast uh, also needs to be installed and their pcl psp extension also needs to be installed okay to work on it to work with the mem cast object case similarly you can try it out there are some other plugins as well which can you can be used for the caching mechanism okay um yeah so you can try it out yourself and also like now we have used get transient but if i do uh, instead of get transient uh, i can use wp cache set wp cache get functions and also like we have deleted uh, the transient data as well right here so similarly i can call wp cache delete uh, method to, to delete the cache key okay and if you are using the group then you also have to pass a group right so that you can uh, that you can do so it's uh, like same as the transient api the functions are different uh object is an installation and, and a few other things have been different but main is that we want to store we can store our data into the cache so that we can prevent multiple database queries or multiple remote api query or uh, remote api calls for for the same data okay and we can save for some time like we can have the we can set expiry time and everything okay um yeah so that's all about object cache so you can try it out in your local system and and go through this code reference uh so onto the developers dot .org, references classes and wp object cache class in this file you can see all the information about the wp object cache class okay so you can go through and there are some of the examples also provided by the community team members so you can go through it as well to learn more about it okay and there are more other functions are there so you can also learn and go through it what are the other functions are, are there maybe there are some maybe filters or the or the actions or anything you can you can uh you can go through or you can explore okay so yeah uh, that's all about object essay yeah thanks guys see you on the next one joy wordpress